Hello friends, this is Vivek from Gadget Guide. So in today's video, I am reviewing Microsoft Let Smartphone Microsoft Lumia 532. It is a dual SIM smartphone, and it costs rupees six thousand right now, and it is available at a price tag of rupees six thousand on Amazon.in. On the front, it features four inch display, which has a resolution of four hundred by eight hundred pixels. After using them for around one month, I can say that uh, I haven't found any problem in the display while in sunlight or in low light. On the front, it features 0.3 megapixel camera, I speaker with a Microsoft branding, and a navigation button sits below the display. On the right hand side, there is a power key, volume worker button. At the back, it has 5 megapixel camera. There is no flash, there is a Microsoft branding, and there is a speaker. To remove the back panel, is a quite tricky and always find a problem while removing the back panel of the device. If you buy this device, then make sure that you read the manual instruction to remove the back panel of the device. Removing the back panel gives you access to dual SIM card slots, 1560mAh battery and micro SD card slot. The back panel is made up of plastic and when compared with other smartphones it is a uh, quite good and uh, it is not like other any uh, smartphone and the volume button power button are the part of the back panel which is uh, quite good in sometimes and if you press the buttons with a the pressure then you will come across problems in nearby future at the top it has 3.5mm model jack on the left hand side there are no physical button at the bottom it has micro usb slot for data transfer and charging right now it is getting started and as you can see that it shows microsoft banding And the battery performance is quite good of the device uh, it gives you a full day backup if you if your uses are normal and you will not be disappointed after using the device when it comes to battery or on the display part It runs on Windows Phone 8.1 with Denim update on top of it. It has 1GB of RAM and 8GB inbuilt memory. The inbuilt memory can be expanded further by using micro SD card. As I already showed you that you can use the memory micro SD card up to 128GB. Out of 8GB only 3.90GB is free and the 3.39GB is used as you can see there is no SD card in it so if you are a fan of storing songs, video songs, movies then you need a memory card it is powered by Quad core 1.2 gigas Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor and playing heavy games like I and browsing number of pages I haven't found any problem in it and the touch response is pretty good. 
talking about the camera quality and the camera is uh, decent and uh, the front camera is not good when you found you found any problem in it you can use the any lenses which you want to use there are number of settings in the camera which you can set according to your needs the back camera is pretty good and with the led flash it might be a pretty good camera connectivity wise i find no problem the dual sim works pretty good this is a pretty good device when it comes to build quality and uh, and the processing and there is uh, no lag while operating browsing number of apps or doing anything and uh, above all you don't find any problem while typing the device when uh, compared with other android device you will find a little bit problem at a price tag of b6000 this device is quite good and it easily fits in your palm it's a 4 inch device and you can easily opt for it make sure that uh, you read the instructions manual before using it as uh, removing the back panel is uh, is quite tricky otherwise the f you don't need the uh, instructions manual thanks for watching this video do not forget to share this video with your friends